All right, guys. Um, this time I'm going to talk about stoppages. Um, and again, this is, I guess it's kind of a, uh, become kind of a trend, um, at least in the videos that I'm doing, sort of an overview, a historical overview of stoppages. Um, yeah, nowadays, your, 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 your takes on stoppage reductions really kind of fall into two categories, diagnostic and non-diagnostic. Diagnostic stoppage reductions, uh, you look at the gun, you assess the problem, and initiate a solution. Non-diagnostic is trying to minimize that, um, minimize the assessment, and go from there. I'll show some variations on both. <clears throat> All right, traditionally, and I guess when I say traditionally, I don't have to tell you what that means. Um, traditionally, um, the modern technique of the pistol. You know, Jeff Cooper started the first major private sector training school in this country. Um, actually, it's not accurate, but we'll get to that later. Um, but he started API, American Pistol Institute at Gunshot Ranch in uh, Baldwin, Arizona in uh, 1976, uh, first classes were done late 76, early 77. Um, but anyway, at Gunsight, um, the way stoppages were originally taught, um, it was a diagnostic model. Um, for instance, the gun fails to go back, be a type one stoppage. It's solved by, or it was solved by Firing pin goes forward, 
the retaining plate, the rear slides down partially. And if you saw that, you would then push it back into position and go from there. But the, the, the takeaway is, it was diagnostic. You looked at the gun, saw what the problem was, provided a solution for that problem, and got back on the gun. The non-diagnostic model. The non-diagnostic model, rather than looking at a specific solution for a specific problem, tries to have broad spectrum remedies. Uh, the way it works is this. Gun fits the fire. Doesn't matter why the gun, or why I got a click. I got a click rather than a bang. If I tap the magazine, yeah, I can get back on the trigger. That solves that problem. If we've got a stove pipe, and I tap the magazine, make sure it's the get back on the trigger, that solves that problem. Now with the stovepipe, you know, so I'm setting it up where it sticks right at the top of the gun, which is the easiest stovepipe to see and the easiest stovepipe to clear. You can also get brass sticking out of the gun horizontally, you know, which is a little bit different. You can also get an inline stovepipe where you get a piece of brass that, again, extracts, fails to eject, and is in line, so there's nothing to actually get your hand on easily to wipe out of the gun. So, non-diagnostic model, if you get a click instead of a bag, tap the magazine, the action, and get back on the gun. If tap rack does not solve the problem, pull the trigger, nothing happens, tap rack, nothing happens, then we immediately progress to a type 3 or a figure to extract. And in the, in the classic model, it would be lock the slide to the rear, rip the magazine out, fresh magazine in the gun, reaction, and go. So those are your two broad categories. It's diagnostic, the diagnostic model and the non-diagnostic model. I'm a fan of the non-diagnostic model. Some reasons for that. One, the diagnostic model requires you, yet you have to look at the gun. That's not as big a deal, I think, uh, as some people would make of it. But you have to have enough light to see the gun, which I think is, is a bigger issue. And we can see much faster than we can process information. You know, uh, movies are done 24 frames a second. We can see images in, you know, 1 24th of a second. But we can't make sense of that image. So what I've seen is, let's see, if you've got a, if you've got a problem with the gun, the gun doesn't work. If you're working a diagnostic model, the tendency is to look at the gun and then carry on doing whatever motor set you've got ingrained. And somewhere in that process, you may realize what you saw, but it, it didn't do you any good. You're already beyond, your, your actions are already beyond what you saw by the time you process what you've seen, assuming you had the light, assuming you had the word to also look. Um, so I, I don't think you've gained a whole lot from looking at the gun. Um, and, and so I'd, I'd much rather have a model, have a, have a, have a progression that works regardless of what's going on, regardless of whether I can see the gun or I can make out what's going on with the gun. So for me, you know, the, the non-diagnostic model, I think, is a, is a superior way to go. All right. Thanks, guys.